Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Rotation Worksheet. So this video presents a worksheet on the topic of rotation. Now if you're not sure what to do with these exercises here, there is a lesson on this particular topic. Now when you go to the next slide, there is a direction that tells you to click on the link and the link will take you to the lesson and it will explain how to do all of these examples. So let's quickly have a look what's required. Rotate each of the following shapes in the specified direction around the given point of rotation using the degrees given. So that's very interesting isn't it? So we're looking at a direction we're looking around, uh, we're looking at a given point of rotation and we're using some degrees. Okay, so the first one, here is the point of rotation. So that's fixed. So that explains that in the lesson. This point here is fixed. The direction of rotation is clockwise and if we know from a clock, okay, I'm sure we know that that is clockwise and we go through an angle of 90 degrees. Over here we have a triangle and here is the point of rotation that's the specified point there again it's clockwise and the direction is 180 degrees and over here we have the point of rotation, that's the specific point of rotation. The direction is clockwise and we rotate 270 degrees. So those three are rotated in that direction. Over here, these three, to save some time, we're rotating each of those in an anti-clockwise direction. Now notice here the important thing is that the the point around which we rotate doesn't have to be anywhere on the object. It can be here and we saw that in the lesson. So that point is fixed. This object is rotated in an anti-clockwise direction for 90 degrees. And very quickly, I think we all know that's the direction we're looking at. Over here, this square is rotated in an anti-clockwise direction for 45 degrees. There's the center point there, that's the, the point of rotation. And over here we have this oval, the point of rotation is there. And again, the direction is anti-clockwise and we have 135 degrees. So this video has introduced a very basic worksheet where we can practice rotating objects. We are given a point of rotation, we're given a direction, and we're given a number of degrees. And if you're not quite sure what to do and you need some help, all you have to do is go to the next slide. It gives you a direction, you click on the link, and it takes you to the lesson.